Hello everybody, welcome back to Mad Engineer. As I have shared in my previous video that I'm studying for MCAT, so what I have decided to do is create series of video on each subject um, and then um, help you and myself as well. Uh, so let's uh, so what I've um, decided to do is let's say um so first subject I chose is biology so in this video I'll be going over the chapter one section one of biology um which is on the cell so uh, the section one basically talks uh, goes over the history of cell from the starting to the um up until now what we have discovered so far so yeah let's get started on it I have taken notes um, if you actually want a PDF of my notes uh, please do comment down below I'll try to link um, uh, down below of a downloadable uh, PDF that you can download and then print it out all right so the cell theory starts from uh, early 1600s so in the earlier time, organisms were preserved to be inseparable into smaller parts. Um, because this is due to because there were no magnifying glass, such as uh, there were no microscope before to actually look into um, a living organism and see if there there are actually cells and they function um, differently depending on where they are located. And okay. And then next, it moves on to the discovery of Robert Hooke in 1665. So he looked into a piece of crock, but it was a dead crock um, with microscope. And then what he had seen was this um, small square like pieces. So what he did was he dis he compared those with the small um, room, um, uh, monastery room, which were called cell. So he named those cell. However, he was unable to um, see other organelles, nucleus, um, due to the croc not being a living organism. Um, so later on, it moves on to 17, uh, I mean 1674, where Antonio van Leeuwen Hook, Leeuwen Hook uh, actually was the first scientist who viewed living organism under microscope. So he discovered that cells were living things. Um, so a few of the organisms he viewed under microscope was pond water and then a couple uh, different type of sperm cells. And then there were actually other discoveries in between the time frame from 70, 1676 to 1850. However, I am cat only test on those, so we'll just stick to the, uh, stick to the idea that I'm cat test. Um, there is actually no point of learning all those theories and histories if I'm cat is not testing on it. All right. So in 1850, um, Rodolf actually discovered that um, cells actually comes from pre-existing cell. However, another discovery he made was that disease cells arise from normal cells. So um, this actually contradicts his theory, which we will learn in the later chapter is that viruses are actually not considered living organisms. That's why. Um, all right. So after those, uh, the, uh, this was actually the basic timeline of how cells were discovered. Um, so we'll go, we'll just go over the cell theory. There are actually four cells theory. Three were discovered uh, before, but four, the fourth one was discovered, um, uh, discovered after, I mean, yeah. So the first theory is that all living things are composed of cells. Um, and then the cell is the basic fundamental unit of life. So it's basically saying everything is made out of cells. So you can you can actually combine theory one and two and then consider that as one. I mean, it's in my opinion at least. And then the theory, no, theory number three was that cells only arise from pre-existing cells, which was a Rodolf um, discovery. And then the fourth theory is that cells carry genetic information uh, in its DNA, deoxynucleic riboacid. 
which we will learn uh, in later chapter so if you stick with the videos you will be receiving notification on when i post on each chapters and then yeah so that was basically on chapter one section two of the cell history however uh, in the next section is uh, about um aquatic cells so if you are interested in learning about that uh, please do stay tuned and um, i probably will post a video on aquatic cells um a day after i post on cell history <clears throat> all right so that's about it if you if again if you want my notes i will be comment down below and then i will link um a pdf of this and then uh, if you actually are interested in different subject let's say uh, biology i mean this is biology um chemistry uh, math, basic maths and then uh, orgo biochemistry don't worry i'll be posting videos on those subjects as well yeah all you have to do is just uh, check for those just, and then just go to my playlist you'll find those um yeah i decided to, to post video on every i mean five times a week so i do have time to do my studies as you know i'm, I'm in college so i i do have time to study for other things as well all right so that's it for this video. Have a nice day.